Hey everyone, so today we're gonna get into one. It uh, comes up way too often. So yeah, a whole video dedicated to how to clean your glasses. Do you know what point I had to get to for this? Yeah. Anyway, let's dive into it. Let's try to have some fun along the way before people start complaining about you can't see my eyes or you can't hear my voice. I'm not wearing a mask, so you can't do that one. <laughs> let's get into it actually now. So for starters, you probably got something like this that came with your glasses, a little microfiber cloth when you open this pouch up after you fight with it for six years because all the plastic's everywhere, and then there you go. And that's pretty much how I feel about these. Yeah, that's what you've got. So, hmm. Don't use that, don't love it. It's handy for some things, we'll get back to that later. But what is what, what, what do you do to actually clean your glasses, keep them from getting hazy, just nasty and gross, right? We don't want any of those things. I don't want any of those things. I don't wanna deal with that. But these guys are actually quite dirty right now. So we're gonna use this for the basic example of just kind of the quick daily clean and that is when you've already kept your glasses well maintained. There's not a lot of buildup on the bridge. There's not a lot of oil buildup around the rim, even though goodness knows I have oily enough skin that it definitely does happen. Maybe even as quick as I've only worn these a few times. But the big starting point is you're gonna take your little spray solution. I have my favorite, I'll link it down below. It is actually our solution, so there you go. And that's what you get with that. That is not what's in this bottle. Actually, it is what's in this bottle, but this is not the bottle you get. Whatever, anyway, right? So what you're gonna do to clean your glasses when they are basically already clean, right? This is like washing the car with the spray foamer, right? No, nobody really cares about this part because yeah, if you're watching this, you've already got this covered, right? So anyways, you take your little spray, you mist it, just a couple pumps there on the cloth. Get it nice and moist to the touch, right? Because you don't wanna grind the dirt into the lenses. As you can see, these are not super dirty, but there is a little something going on there. It doesn't really even pick up on camera. But you can take your glasses with that wet part of the rag, wipe in nice little circles in and out and around. And now the lens is nice and kind of wet there, not really clean yet. We'll get to that though. So you're gonna get it nice and clean all around the rim and your bottle's gonna fall on you and your pants are gonna be wet. <laughs> mm. So now that you've done that, you're gonna go to another part of the rag. This is what always gets people. I don't think they understand that you wanna do it this way. You wanna use your wet part of the rag to get the majority of the cleaning done. Then you're gonna flip. Now the lens is a little bit moist to a more dry part of the rag and that's where you get your nice, crisp, clean, crystal clear finish back, right? So still the same thing, kind of the rag on both sides. I've got my hand in there, kind of pinchy pinchy style, like I'm driving a Muppet down the street and he's screaming at everyone. Ah, there you go. Now, especially with one like this, where you've got that acetate rim seated in a the metal, these tend to be deeper acetate rims. So what happens is you can't, really get down good in here for that part. So I like to kind of wrap my finger into that bottom of the rag and really just go good around the rim and let the nail and the fingertip kind of clean all the way down on that edge, all the way around front and back. That's what kind of gets that last little bit going. Now, if you have a haze left at this point, it's time for a much deeper clean of the lenses and the glasses. So now we've got that's all done. If you're in a pinch and you've just done this, this is when I actually do like these little microfiber cloths. So you've just done this, there's still a little bit of smeariness across the surface because it really needs that deeper clean, but you're headed out the door, you're late for work already, you spent too much time cleaning your glasses to start with, you gotta go. Or maybe you don't have all the other stuff handy. That's when this is really good. You've already cleaned your lenses, you just did what I just did. Now the lenses are pretty much clear, but you get a little bit of a haze or something on there that's not quite right. That's when you'll take this little guy and the same kind of thing. You'll wrap it, let the hand seat in there. Now I know somebody is gonna come back and ask me what that cloth I was using at the beginning was. 
Oh, believe it or not, they are real cloth diaper liners. It is just the little cloth diapers you buy. That's what these things are. I buy them 10, 15, 20 at a time, whatever I can get my hands on. Amazon, you used to get them at Babies R Us, but they're not around anymore. <laughs> They're amazing. I keep a ton of these things everywhere. I use them mostly for glasses. They're good for a few other things too, but I really like them for glasses. They're cheap enough that after you've used them a million times and they don't come clean anymore, you get more. Yeah, that's that. On the deeper clean side of things, who knew you could take four minutes to clean a pair of glasses the right way? Well, listen, I've seen glasses cleaned in 30 seconds. Get off the channel. We're not talking. Yeah, that's, mm -mm, no. So for the deeper clean, we're gonna dive into that part. I've got a minch on some video for that. So hooray, I always hate that part. Yeah, but we're gonna dive into what it takes to actually clean these. When they're getting that little bit of a haze on them, I'll link up another video where I've gone over it a little bit more specific to that because sometimes there's other stuff going on that has caused that. But typically what happens, especially in a frame like this where I mentioned earlier, you've got that little deeper rim around the lenses. Whether it's sunglasses or not, what happens is you do get some micro cracking there in the corner actually already on a two week, old. no, sorry, don't mind that. But what happens is you get oils that build up from our bodies. We just naturally produce oils and they build up around that rim of the glasses. And what happens is because of the super oleophobic and super hydrophobic and all the super, super, super duper coatings that are on glasses these days, they are super duper slick. We added a duper to the super coatings because that's what it is when we're trying to get it clean. You can see that little bit of a sheen from the anti-reflective coating on these that works a little bit against you because it is so slick when you've got those oils around the rim and you're wiping and you're wiping and you're wiping and you've got water in there, it's kind of collecting those on the rag, which is why I suggest changing to another part of the rag part of the way through. But it collects, it builds, and it smears that up across the lens. And no matter what you do, the more you keep wiping, the more you keep pulling those oils out and until those oils are really gone from around that rim of the frame, it's not gonna get clean. And that's why I really like that at least once a week or so, depending on how oily you are. I'm on the excessive end of that, so a week's probably a little much for most people. But you just take a regular hand soap of any sort, one without any lotions or moisturizers or additives like that. You know, I've had some people ask about the fragrance, the scented kinds, those tend to be okay. You know, whatever you get from Bath and Body Works is fine. Most of those don't have lotion additives. They've just got a little bit stronger scent to them. It does a good job cleaning anything that's gonna break up that oil around the rim of the glasses. Now, I'll throw a caveat on here. Dawn, like any of the dish soaps, are really, really, really good if you've let it go just way too long and you've really gotta aggressively break up those oils on the rim of the front, right? You don't wanna do that regularly because over the long term, if you do that a lot consistently, it can damage the coatings themselves. Now, I've never personally run into that, but I have heard of it happening, so better safe than sorry, right? Now, if they're too far gone, you'll get an ultrasonic cleaning. And that's when you'll take them back to your optician or a jewelry store or whatever. They'll throw it in the little buzzy machine. It'll sit there for five or 10 minutes and it'll come out looking like it's brand freaking new and all the oils went out in smoke and they're gone and it's clean and now you can really clean it. The reason I say take this to somebody to get it done is because typically it's best to remove the lenses in that case. And you're gonna let those soak and clean the lenses separately and wipe out around that rim as well after that's done. You can do it with the lenses in, but kind of like the Dawn dish soap, I don't really recommend doing that because that can cause the coatings on the lenses to break down sooner. Have I run into it? No, but again, it's a matter of not doing this incredibly often, taking some extra precautions. And generally I'm taking the lenses out if it's going into the ultrasonic anyway. So I haven't seen it happen. I have heard of it happening. It probably does happen. So don't do it. I say that because I know you can go buy these ultrasonic machines now for like 50, 60 bucks to clean something small. And some of you will do that, <laughs> especially when you have 30, 40 pairs, right? Yeah. I know, it happens. 
But hey, we'll sell you some new lenses when you tear them up too. So yeah, there's that. But that's kind of the, the gist of what it takes to really clean a pair of glasses, get rid of that haziness, make them look good again. I always have people asking how you clean the glasses. I have always thrown it in other videos where other issues were related, but we've never taken one and just sat down and freaking cleaned a pair of glasses, start to finish, with you watching the entire time, unedited except for that other middle part where I had to go and <laughs> record cleaning a pair of glasses in a sink. So enjoy that. That's how much I love you guys. I took care of it. I take care of you. Now, if this video helped you, let me know down below. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, share the love, and let's keep this channel going and growing and we will keep having fun here. Now, if you haven't seen the Discord yet, go check that out. Links down below. Join that too. We have some fun in there. Sometimes, sometimes we don't. It's still small community. Yeah, no. I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.